channel Catherine's Plates where I'm going to be taking the classic recipe banana bread and turning it upside down. So grab your bananas, some simple ingredients from your pantry and your refrigerator and we're going to build this thing upside down, of course. So if you're ready, I'm going to start by showing you what you're going to need to make this and then you're going to see how easy it is to make this and you're going to want to make your own. All right. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and start making the banana bread mixture and then we're gonna set this aside. So the first thing you're gonna need are like three to four very ripe bananas. And as you can see with mine right there, they are falling off the stem, so they're ready to go. You're gonna need two cups of flour, half a cup of oil, half a cup of sugar, three eggs, and then a little bit of vanilla. And then we're gonna mix it all together in a large bowl. Now, depending on the size of your bananas is how many you want to put in there. I've got some really long bananas here, so I'm probably going to do about three bananas. If you have small bananas, you can do up to four if you'd like. All right, got them all out of there. Oh, the bananas smell so good. They're so ripe. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead now and mash these up. Alright, got a nice mash going on down here. I'm going to go ahead now and crack three eggs in. Add my oil, my sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. Gonna mix this all together. Use some eggs. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add two cups of flour, one cup at a time. I'm using half a cup right now. There we go. Go ahead and mix that up. Okay, so we have our banana bread mixture all mixed up here. We're gonna set it aside and then now we're gonna go ahead and make the kind of a caramel glaze. All right y'all, so I have like a medium pan here. Got it on medium high heat. To make the caramel, I'm gonna go ahead now and add half a stick of butter. And we're gonna melt that down. All right, y'all, at this stage, we're gonna go ahead, right before the butter is melted down, we're gonna go ahead and spray our baking pan here. Now, this is a nine by nine baking pan. It's gonna lightly, very lightly, just spray it. Set that right there. All right, can you hear that sizzle going on with that butter? We're gonna go ahead now and add one cup of brown sugar. Now what we're gonna do is incorporate this together and we're gonna keep stirring until all the sugar is melted down and this starts really bubbling and we want it nice and thick. So it's got to be bubbling. So we're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit and keep stirring. It'll only take a few minutes. And we wanna incorporate the brown sugar into the butter. All right, you see that bubble? All right, we need it just a little faster, like a rolling boil. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's coming together really good. Probably another 30 seconds. All right, I'm gonna turn off our burner now. And then what I'm gonna do is take this caramel glaze here, and I'm gonna pour it into the bottom of my nine by nine 
lightly sprayed baking dish here. All right, now that you've poured it into your pan, you wanna just go around and just make sure that it's fully, entirely covered down at the bottom where you can't see the bottom of the pan. We're gonna let this cool just a little bit. While that's happening, we're gonna go ahead now and start slicing our bananas to put on the bottom of our glaze here. All right, what we're gonna do now is take our bananas and slice them. Now what we're gonna do is lay them in our pan and cover the whole bottom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and just give a little mix to my banana bread mixture here. And then I'm gonna pour this all over the bananas. All right, now I'm just gonna even it out. Get into the quarters. All right, y'all, this is ready to go into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes until we get a nice golden brown color on the top and the toothpick comes out clean. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I've just pulled it out of the oven. I did the toothpick test and it came out clean in three different spots, so it's ready to go. So I'm gonna let it sit here and cool before we do the upside down test. My upside down banana bread is now ready. It's cooled down just a little bit. We didn't want to cool it down entirely because I don't want all of that caramel to stick to the pan. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and flip this over. Now, I've got a square plate here and what I'm gonna do, no one's cringing here. <laughs> I'm gonna lay the plate on top of my baking dish there, upside down, and I'm just going to use a towel and hold the edges on each side and then what I'm going to do is flip it over. All right, so don't cry. There we go. All right. <laughs> now we're going to sit there. Tap it. Tap it. Oh yeah, it's coming. There it is. Give it a little help, give it a little jiggle. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. There it is, right there. I'm gonna bring you up for a closer view. All right, here it is. You see all the little bananas? Oh yeah, all that caramel and then the banana bread right there. All right, y'all. Let's cut a piece and let's try this thing. All right, there it is. Upside down banana bread. Did you believe me? <laughs> let's give this a try. Oh boy, I'm going in. I took that banana bread and I turned it upside down. All right. Give it a little Cool Whip on the side. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. It is so delicious. And that caramel on the top with the bananas. Mm. Okay, y'all, that is delicious. I challenge you to make your own. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. With that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, I will see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.